Thank you for choosing to move your body and spend time focusing on you today. My name is Elise Loren, and today's class we're going to focus on quite a bit of movement. We have a mandala flow, so you'll be moving around your mat. Um, and we're going to lead to a peak pose today called crow pose, um, bakasana in Sanskrit. And this shape is an arm balance that is available for everyone. Uh, unless you have like broken wrists. So we will talk through that a little bit towards the end of class, but we'll start in a comfortable seat in Siddhasana. Left heel in, right heel in front of the left. And we're going to start breathing with spinal breath today, which is a Kriya uh, movement or breath to awaken the internal energies inside of us. So you'll bring your arms parallel to one another, and then bring your arms out from there into a cactus. And you'll inhale here through your nose. Draw your shoulder blades a bit closer together. Exhale, make fists. And draw your forearms in front of your face with your pinky edges of your palms touching. Again, inhale, open your palms out. Draw shoulder blades closer together. Exhale through your mouth. Draw forearms together and pinkies towards one another. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Keep moving just like this. So if you took the last Kriya class um, from last month, you may have noticed that these Kriya movements last a bit longer than a more traditional vinyasa shape is held. This one will move through for about two minutes. So you're almost halfway there, but just instead of worrying about how long we'll be going or what the breath feels like, can you let the shape, the movement move you so that it's less rigid and more organic? Your breath starts to fill the shape naturally. Maybe the benefits just start to arise for you without needing to do anything more than breathe and move your arms, your upper body. Halfway there. Should feel warmth in the shoulders, the arms, a depth of breath that maybe you didn't first show up on your mat with. You're here for just five more rounds. Two more. Last one. Lower your palms face down on your lap. Find a tall spine and breathe in and out through your nose now. Notice where you feel movement internally. That might be through a buzzing sensation or warmth. Now take this warmth, this breath with you. Open your eyes, crawl over your feet, and come into a tabletop position, all fours. On an inhale, reach your right arm into the air. Circle through your wrist in one direction and then the other. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring your right arm underneath your left palm face up. Lower your outer right shoulder and right temple to the ground. Now here you can take your right palm on top of your left, or I'm sorry, your left palm on top of your right wrist 
and press with your left palm into your wrist and forward to traction more space in the right side of your upper back. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release your left hand. Press down through your hand. And inhale, reach your right arm up. And this time, circle from your shoulder in one direction and then the other. Lower your right hand down. We'll move on to side two. Inhale, lift your left arm into the air. Circle through your wrist. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm down. Lower your left temple down. Now option to bring your right hand around your left wrist and then press with your right palm so you feel a tractioning from your shoulder blade, your upper back, and that left side. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Right hand down, left arm sweeps back up. Now circle from your shoulder in one direction and the other. Lower your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right leg into the air. Square your hips, reach through your heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap your right tricep with your right knee. Get it up high and then bend your elbows to baby chaturanga. Two more of each. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Bend your elbows and lower your chest. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left, right knee, right elbow. Bend your elbows and lower. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand. Runner's lunge. And then dip your hips forward and down and start to find some movement here. Anything in the upper body that feels good for the lower. You can dip your hip over to the side, lift your shoulder towards your ear. You can move side to side, front to back, whatever feels good for you. Now start to settle back through center. Energetically hug your right knee in towards your right elbow and uh, tricep. Keep your knee moving in as you lift your hips a bit. Now bring your right arm underneath your right leg. Tent your fingertips off to the side so that they point back for outer rotation in your upper arm. Make your left hand do the same over to the left. Your arm is free, but fingertips pointing back. Now tuck under your back toes. Inhale, lift your back knee. Press down through your fingertips. Get your front knee over your front ankle. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower your left hand underneath your shoulder. Release your right arm up. Inhale, grounded twist. Bump your left hip as high as your right hip in space and spiral open through your rib cage. You can lower your gaze here towards your left fingertips to release your neck if that feels good. Start to draw your right hand a bit farther back from your shoulder to open your chest. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release your right hand inside your right foot and turn to the left for a wide-legged forward fold. Turn your toes in, your heels out. Shift your hips forward over your heels. First time here, walk your fingertips back. Tent your fingertips once again and release your head. The warmer your hamstrings start to feel, the more you can crawl your fingertips away from you. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and pivot to the back of your mat. Low lunge, hands frame your left foot. Plant your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Sweep your left leg into the air. Exhale, bend your knee and open up your hip. Circle through your ankle. If you'd like a deeper stretch, lower your right elbow to the ground for a dolphin variation of this shape. Come back up to both hands. Inhale, straighten back through your left leg. Exhale, step your left foot to the top of your space. Lower your back heel to the ground so you're in pyramid pose. Shift your left hip back and your right hip forward. Now, if you don't have yoga blocks, walk your hands up your left shin with a micro bend in your knee. Keep your chest reaching forward. 
So good. Now draw shoulder blades closer together. Draw your gaze forward. Take a deep breath in here. Fill up. Exhale. Bend your elbows and lower your chest a bit more. One more breath in. Look forward. Exhale. Pop your right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold at the back of your mat. Release your head. Release your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, release your head and neck. Root down through both feet, inhale, mountain pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, slide your right arm down your right leg, reach your left arm up and over. Inhale, come back through center, both arms lift. Exhale, left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale, come back through center, both arms lift. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold over two straight-ish legs. Keep your weight forward in your toes as you arrive. Inhale, halfway lift once again, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands and step back to a plank position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Spread wide from your thumbs to your pinkies. Take a breath in. Exhale, shift your shoulders forward and slowly lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes, lengthen your legs back. Inhale, curl up, cobra pose. Press down, lift up, shoulders down your back. Exhale, forehead to the ground. Keep your knees on the ground. Inhale, press straight up to a tabletop position. And use your exhale to restack and resituate shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. For side two, inhale, lift your left leg into the air, square your hips. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Give it a tap, bend your elbows, lower your chest. Inhale, press the ground away, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, engage your core. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, give it a tap, bend your elbows and lower. One more round, inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, give it a tap, bend your elbows and lower. So strong. Inhale, press the ground away, extend your leg. Exhale, now step your left foot outside of your left hand. Dip your hips forward and down and start to invite in some movement in your runner's lunge, anything that feels good for you. Start to come back through center. Hug your left knee in towards your tricep. Now lift your hips back a bit. Crawl your left arm underneath your left leg. Tent your fingertips so they point back. Then do the same with your right hand. Shift your front knee over your front ankle. Tuck under your back toes. Inhale, lift your back knee off the ground. Press through your fingertips. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower your right hand underneath your right shoulder. On your inhale, extend your left arm up. Bump your right hip as high as your left. Spiral through your rib cage. Lower your gaze towards your right fingertips to release your neck. Take one more breath in. Start to shift your left arm back past your shoulder head. Exhale, lower your left hand and pivot over to the center of your mat. Release your head. This time, bring both hands wrapped around your left foot. Start to bend your right knee, pull on your foot with both hands, and you should feel a deep stretch in your right side. Release your foot, straighten your right leg, walk your hands to your right foot. Bend your left knee, pull on your foot with both hands, feel length in your left side. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and pivot so your hands frame your right foot. Plant your hands, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend at your knee, open up your hip. Circle through your ankle. Option now for left elbow down, left forearm down. 
Come back up to both hands. Inhale, straighten through your right leg. Exhale, step forward for pyramid. Back heel at an angle. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, leading with your heart. Hands can come to blocks or hands to shin. And since I have blocks on this side, I'll use the blocks. If you have blocks, a cool variation is to walk your hands as far forward as you can so you feel length through your side bodies and your chest. If you don't, hands are still on shins here. Inhale, halfway lift wherever you are. Exhale, bend your elbows and fold an inch deeper. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Bend your front knee. Exhale, pop your left foot up to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Root through your feet. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. Close down your eyes for just a moment and breathe. Feel your body arrive in this present moment in this shape. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands and step back to a plank. Take a deep breath in here, fill up. Exhale, shift your shoulders forward and lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, press through the tops of your feet. Lift your legs by engaging your core and flip over your toes, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, walk, skip, or jump your feet to a forward fold. Separate your feet a bit wider than hip width. And then bend your knees and lower your hips towards your heels. Bring your hands together in front of your heart for Malasana variation. Now take a deep breath in here, fill up. Exhale, root down through your right foot and come on up to one-legged mountain. Lift your left knee as you come up, arms by your sides. Keep your legs as they are. Inhale, arms lift overhead. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Square your hips. Lift your heart towards your thumbs. Sit one inch lower if you can. Inhale, one-legged mountain from here. Arms lift, knee lifts. Exhale, full airplane. Dakasana, send everything back behind you. Arms higher than your hips. Take one more breath in. Exhale, step back to an airplane lunge. Inhale, five-pointed star, cartwheel open. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Front knee over your front heel. Shoulders over your hips, arms active. Now flip your front palm, inhale, reach up and back. Keep that bend in your front knee. Exhale, low lunge, hands frame your front foot. Lift your back heel, inhale, plank. Exhale, shift your shoulders forward, come halfway down. Flip to the tops of your feet, inhale, up dog. Shoulders down your back, bend in your elbows. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Same leg, inhale, lift your right leg into the air. Exhale, step forward towards your right thumb. Lower your back heel at an angle for warrior one. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Virabhadrasana A. Front knee right over your front heel. Root through both heels equally. Find length through your low back by engaging your core. Take a breath in here. Exhale, lower your hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart, chest expansion. Exhale, humble warrior, fold inside your right knee. If it's hard to get your shoulder inside your knee, move your right foot farther to the right. Release your head towards the arch of your right foot. Send your shoulder blades down your back. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release your fist by way of your low back. Fingertips skim the earth. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two, back to the top of your space. 
Restack your knee over your ankle, shoulders over your hips. Straighten your front leg this time. Inhale, reverse triangle pose. Keep this length in your left side. Exhale, shift your left hip back, 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 back. Left hand down, right arm up. Lower your gaze towards your left toes. Micro bend in your front knee. Now continue to shift your left hip back. It may help to draw this top hip down as inner rotation. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, lower your right hand, bend your front knee and lift your back heel. Pop your back foot up to meet your front foot, forward fold all on the same exhale. Bend at your knees, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, arms lift. Sit back into your heels and a bit lower than you want to here. Find some buoyancy in your hips. Take a breath in. Listen carefully here. Exhale, lift your heels. Separate your knees and bring your hands together in front of your heart. Hips sink towards your heels for a squat. Now press down through your feet. Inhale, mountain pose. Come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step back to a plank. Take a breath in. And now listen to your body. You can take a vinyasa here by coming halfway or all the way down. Inhale, up dog cobra. Or if your body's feeling fatigued, lift your hips and go right to down dog. We'll be here for the next few breaths if you would like to take that vinyasa. All right. Time for side two. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, jump your feet a bit wider than hip width here. And then inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips towards your heels and bring your hands together in front of your heart. Exhale, press down through your left foot as you come up to stand. Lift your right knee up and arms down by your sides. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. One-legged mountain. Exhale, figure four, right thigh, right ankle over left thigh. Sit down and back towards your left heel, so weight goes back in the hips. Lift your heart towards your thumbs. Sit one inch lower. Inhale, one-legged mountain, nice work. Exhale, full airplane, send your right leg back. Arms travel back and then higher than your hips. One more breath in here. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, five-pointed star, cartwheel open. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat, right knee bends. If you need to bend and straighten your front knee to warm up, please do. And then find the alignment that we found on the first side twice already. I'll try to talk a little less on this side so you can embody each shape. See what feels good for you. Flip your front palm, inhale, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel it down, low lunge. Plant your hands, inhale, plank position. Exhale, shift forward, come halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg into the air. Exhale, step forward for warrior one. Back heel at an angle. Inhale, your arms to lift. Lift out of your hips through your rib cage. Square your hips through, through your feet. Shoulders down your back. Breathe into your rib cage, inhale. Exhale, hands to low back. Cross opposite fingers on top. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your gates. Exhale, humble warrior. Fold inside your left knee. Release your head towards your arch of your left foot. Send your shoulder blades together and down your back. Keep your left sit bone drawing back towards your right heel. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release your hands by way of your low back. Fingertips skim the earth. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two, back to the top of your space. Right knee bends. 
Resettle here. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Micro bend in your front knee. Keep this length in your right side. Exhale, glide forward, 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 forward. And then hand to leg, earth, or block. Reach your left hand straight up. So if it feels crunchy on this right side, a block will allow you to shift your hips farther back for more length. Draw your gaze down towards your right toes. Micro bend in your front knee. Energetically draw your feet towards one another. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower your left hand. Bend your right knee and lift your back heel. Pop your left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold, big toes touch. Bend at your knees, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, find your squat. Heels together, knees wide, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Toe heel your feet to hang off of your mat and sit back in Malasana. Press your arms into your legs and draw your legs into your arms. Stay here. I'm going to demo crow pose and then we'll do it together. So we're going to lift the hips and bring big toes together. Just like our squat we just did, same shape. You'll bend your knees and send them out wide. Press your heels in on one another. Then walk your hands back. Spread wide through your fingers. Bend your elbows towards your knees. Chaturanga arms here. You're going to rock your weight forward so your knees tap your triceps. And feel your fingertips turn white with pressure downward. From here, just play around with lifting a foot or the other foot. And then maybe one day both feet lift. A great trick if you're feeling scared about falling forward, you can place a block in front of your head. And as you come forward, make your goal to get your head to the block. And then you can just play around with lifting up from there. All right? So now you go. Um, if you want more time, you can pause the video. But have fun with it. When you are ready, come down to a seat. Flip your fingertips down in front of you. Hold one hand and pull it back to stretch out your wrist. And then release, shake it out, and go over to the other hand. Release, shake it out. Come all the way down to your back. Bring your knees in towards your belly. Hold onto a shin with each hand and open your knees into a reverse child's pose. You can stay still or find movement today. Start to deepen your breath. Bring your knees back together. Lower your feet to the ground. Cross your right thigh over your left. Cactus or tee your arms. Lower your knees over to the left. Bump your hips to the right. If having your legs crossed is causing a lot of pressure or pain in your knees, just uncross at your thighs. And just stack your legs. Inhale, come back through center, uncross your legs. Now cross your left thigh over your right, bump your hips to the left, lower both knees to the right. Notice anywhere in your body you're holding on to tension, engagement, try to let that go. Inhale, come back through center. Uncross your legs. Bring your knees in towards your belly. Give yourself a loving squeeze. Take a breath in. Exhale, final Shavasana. Take up space. Draw shoulder blades closer together. Let this be your peak pose today.
When you're ready, start to deepen your breath. Invite small movements into fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Bring your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Reach up through your fingers and down through your toes. Pull your knees into your belly. Wrap your arms around your legs and rock off onto whichever side feels more grounding for you today. With eyes closed, use your top arm to press yourself up to a seat. Find a comfortable seat, shoulders over hips. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. Today we will close our class with one final Om. We'll start with a free breath in through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Inhale to Om. to your third eye. I bow to you with so much love and gratitude. Please have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time.